Hi, Dr. Joe here, talking about another piece of information that includes the mouse. They've been so instructive to us. This time you're using embryonic kidney cells. Embryonic cells from the human was engineered so it would produce melanopsin, a little protein that is a light-sensitive protein. And this is in the mice. And so we're in a situation where this is sort of interesting, but then they put another gene in, a GLP1 gene, GLP-1 gene. Now, most of you, if you're familiar with this kind of thing, know that the GLP1 gene is something you can buy now to treat yourself for diabetes 2 by using this injection of the GLP1 agent. This is Bayetta. This is Victosa. So all of a sudden, we're into something in the mice, but we're also looking at what we can do today which approved drugs and so forth. So then you've got this thing in the mice that seems to be useful. What do you do? You actually put them in a place where they get blue light given to them. This blue light in the melanopsin enables you to make something new in a gene that is a gene that changes inside you to say we will make more GLP-1. If you make GLP-1, you are getting your diabetes under control. Probably in early stages of type 1, this might be also true, but it is true for the type 2 diabetic. So all of a sudden, with a little gene transfer here and there, we're getting something that really can change everything as far as we're concerned. So when you have something that you could put a little cell in you and it would take everything back to where you'd like to be normally, and diabetes isn't a big thing. You just have to be in the house of blue lights. Back to Elvis Presley. But this time, it's your time.